Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have Itzy's comeback with Leah. So excited, she's finally back. They did do the full version uh, songs, so that's cool. Um, we won't react to them really because I mean, I've already heard the songs. But yeah, we have I think like six songs on here, and the title track Gold. I'm very curious, I have no idea what it's gonna sound like. Um, but looking forward to it, so let's hop into the video. Ooh. What's with the band-aids? Why do people think it's cute? I don't understand. <laughs> Ooh, dynamite gold. Well, this video, they got budget. Go away. It's seen for 24 hours. I feel like we're getting Halloween vibes. Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh. Itzy isn't back. Itzy's been here. Y'all just have been hating because it lets go. This is crazy. No one who was hating on Itzy before is allowed back. Oh, you yeah, know. Well, I might have played a good quarter, so maybe I'm talking too soon. Fingers crossed. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about blonde shadow. Mm -hmm. That's not like you know, it's not like you. This is so cool. I love this kind of like zombie dance, like dead weight. Kind of reminds me of Cheshire, but... Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> Put on stands, let's go. Yeah. What is Leor? I can't support the outfit for Leah. <laughs> they did her dirty. Like, wh what is that? Why are they... Why are they sabotaging her contact? <laughs> Like everyone has like such cool outfits and then they put her in a baby doll dress with basketball shorts? I don't understand. Ah, Virgin looks so cute though. I hope this revives them though. Even though people are assholes. Mm -hmm. And they should have been here during cake and stuff. Oh, this song was made for me personally. I think this is for me. <laughs> What is this dance? This reminds me of who did this dance? Who did that dance before? Is it a boy group? No, I think it was a girl group. Where they're like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's a common dance, but I feel like a specific group did something like that recently. It would have to be. I feel like that's subtle Halloween vibes. I wish any group who's done this pop pop, pop 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 punk sound would actually just stick with the pop punk sound, but like none of them have, so I don't get my hopes up. <laughs> I just enjoy it while I can. Mm -hmm. 
That was so good. They had such a weird shaped video. I need to look to see if, uh... I mean, I doubt they had any credits, but... Itsy... Itsy... What's the album called? <laughs> You look so different in that picture. Oh, why is the wrong Shakira a little? Never mind. Oh, that's so cute. They're like, let me feed into the social, parasocial relationship a bit more. Where are these pictures from? Because Chadong, well, I guess maybe she wasn't blonde in the in my photos. She said evolution. This one is beautiful. Oh, a little vocal pride. This is definitely one of my favorite Etsy songs recently. It's so beautiful. I kind of wish they went a little harder on the vocals. Like, showed off a bit more. Especially, like, Leo. Is that Chetan in that part? Because it doesn't sound like that. Yes, it is. That's probably one of my favorite group songs as of recent. Wow. That was great. I'm scared of this song. I'm scared of this song. I feel like it's gonna be like an elevator song. We'll see that. I'm also a nervous for Chungbin's song because I love Chungbin, but. Ali looks so beautiful. Okay. I'm nervous for the. I'm liking this. I'm nervous for the. Vogue. Alright, whatever. This is going to be a mediocre song because they just did nothing with the scores. <laughs> Come 
because I could have done more with this. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe the final course will be better. I mean, I guess this could be kind of the course. It's more like the pre-course though, but we can view it as a course. We can make it, we can pretend it's the course. Is this just like a performance song maybe? Like... Okay. Oh, they redeemed it. They redeemed it. They redeemed. Nice new toys are us. And Placey Girls is toys, so could have a whole other layer of meeting. Which I, I mean, it could be. What do you mean? The, the music video was a dark aesthetic. I mean... Oh, they redeemed. This is how you redeem a song because I was like, dang, are they really gonna? Because even the repeat of that empty chorus was at the end, which then made it feel more deserved. Like, they could have made this like such a half baked song, but they didn't. Redemption. That was great. I love that. That's probably actually one of my favorite songs. I felt like it wasn't even like rapping for, per se, they were like fast talking. And it felt like adrenaline do thing. That was great. I loved it. I think that's my... I don't know if gold is so good though. Oh, we look so cute and creepy in that picture. I love this photo shoot. Oh, this album. Oh, I... I don't know if they're gonna celebrate Halloween this year, because they didn't last year for all these reasons, but I feel like they could do a cool Halloween-themed video. With these songs, like lean into this like doll concept they're doing. She's doing that vocal part a lot in this album. Mm. 
feel like they could have done something a little cooler there. It was very repetitive because they were rhyming. Like, oh, so typical. The supernatural extraterrestrial. Uh, what was the other word? What was the word I used? I, I, I added those words, but like, they named it. What was it? Magical. It was magical. Like, instead of supernatural five times, why don't they do like, oh, so typical, the supernatural, extraterrestrial, oh, it's so magical. I don't know, like, and then, because then they do this part. Then she says supernatural again. I don't know. I'm not a lyricist. I'm just throwing out ideas. See? Magical. The supernatural. This is so Halloweeny. I'm a Halloween girl, okay? Leave me alone. Like, I need a slip bracelet and everything. <laughs> and my nails. Like, Halloween. And my shirt. <laughs> eh. Like, yes. Love it. Oh, the next. That's my favorite song. Supernatural is my favorite song. Um, it's nice and spooky, but fun and cute. Um, I love this. It's called Five. That kind of scares me, though, because whenever a group reiterates the number of members they have, it doesn't end well. But we're going to think nicely about it. So, Supernatural is so good. Oh, it's not going to be a slow song? I feel like we need more slow songs from Oh, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. These songs are cute, but in, if no one's like from the group writing it, it kind of loses a bit of meaning to me. I don't like the instrumental this song. <laughs> it didn't rhyme. Dang, we were almost a complete album of perfect songs. I don't like it. <laughs> what a weird song to celebrate five members. What a weird song. I mean, I feel like I never love the uh, group songs. Like, that, like, are either for fans or, like, for the group. <laughs> the same thing happened with Stray Kids and their song. I was like, oh, this is the song? Okay. That line makes me cringe so hard. Well, I don't under- like, it doesn't rhyme or anything. They didn't connect it. It's just four lucky clover. Like, they do have a song called- Don't they have a song called Clover? Oh, no, they made that a song called Lucky. <laughs> oh, I love the Eunice part there. I usually love like a counting song where it's like one, dun 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 dun, two, like, I don't know. This feels like a very early Itzy song. Like, this feels like it's from the first or second album. Which is where I couldn't really connect with the group. So, I guess it has a, a, a homage to like their older sound. I can see the people loving the song. Okay. Well, it's just 
Oh, Changbin, please. I I really hope you sound good on this. I love Changbin. I love his rapping. Um, Stray Kids produced with the three members, so I there's like few songs where it's like only one of them does it. I don't know which one Changbin did alone. If he's done one alone, I know Ji Sung does. Because he usually writes his raps. I don't know what V means. What does that mean? Might like it more than five. Oh. Oh. He doesn't do this style often. Ooh, I like the version of this so much. I, I like it. I, I feel like I don't like the chords so much. Let's hear it again, that one. Let's give it another chance. Is it like the vibe way or is it like the Lavida Loca line? Like, what is Vey? <laughs> Am I missing that? I'm probably. Because, like, Lavida Loca. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> but they keep saying vibe a lot, so I'm like, walking with the vibe? Is that him in the background? I also like he was in two parts of the song. I know some people would hate that, but I feel like that's a proper collab is to integrate the artist more. He produced this whole thing by himself? Oh, he wrote the thing by himself. Wow, he's on the composition credits though, too. Okay, I actually love that song. I was kind of nervous. Oh, uh, the five song really just frustrated me because I feel like it should have been better. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't see many people naming five, so I feel like. Um, I'm not seeing many people talking about that song, so I feel like either people are just kind of, yeah, it's no, no one's favorite. People are saying, it, wait, this person says for their review of five, is this somewhat a new sound for Itzy? That's weird because I feel like it sounds very much like older Itzy. I don't- okay. There's like two people I, I've seen name five. People didn't- people were mixed on gold. I feel like y'all just hate it now. Y'all just hate it. <laughs> y'all just hate it. I'm sick of you. Like, what do you mean? Okay, actually, let me see what people think on the music video review. Okay, so this is the consensus for like so many, like people will like the song, but then not like their voices on the song. I can totally see that because to this day, I don't know how I feel about Itzy vocal wise because I don't really, like I even said it in one of the other songs, I was like, oh, I feel like they could have shown off their vocals more. 
I'm wondering if they just still don't like JYP in general. The company doesn't have the best singers. Um, argue with the wall, I guess. <laughs> Because if you go to, like, any of their groups, even some of my favorite groups, Stray Kids, um, and Twice and stuff, there's two or three members, maybe, that stand out. But even some of those members, like, the thing with Stray Kids that I think makes them a little different from JYP groups is Minho himself was joined as a singer, and they were highly survival show. And JYP shit on his vocals. And instead of fixing his vocals, they threw him in as a rapper. Minho himself is not a rapper. I don't care what anyone says. Y'all can like his raps. I don't. And that's because he had the skills to improve. Like, he sounded fine. He just... JYP was just rushing him because he had only a little bit of training. Minho himself, not being a rapper at heart, went out of his way to improve his singing. He went out of his way to improve his vocals. And now he is amazing and could be a main vocalist. Sungmin takes lessons and Sungmin is the main vocal of Stray Kids. Oh, they don't have positions. Bullshit. They have positions. Um, Sungmin went out of his way. I don't like Sungmin's voice that much. That's not, oh, I hope Stays don't watch this. <laughs> I don't love Sungmin's vocals personally. It doesn't cater to me. There's like two songs where I'm like, wow, I love his vocals, which is like Cover Me and Leaves. Uh, but Stray Kids don't have my favorite vocals in the group, except Mino, who was pushed to be a rapper because they didn't want to improve his vocals. And guess what? It's because to me, you can... Let me know if you like Stray Kids. Do you agree? Mino has like a, almost like a rock voice. Like his voice suits rock or like that type of sound. And you know K-pop are very adamant about making things poppy and high and stuff. And he sounds great like in more rock songs. Even his song Limbo like has more of that vibe. Um, I feel like Itzy, from the songs that I like from Itzy, suit that as well. And I'm wondering if they did went more like that punk pop, pop punk route, they'd probably be really good. I feel like they don't get songs that showcase their talents. And that's how I feel with NMIX as well, because NMIX literally have top tier vocals. Like, I don't know about Itzy, because aside from, like, covers they've done, even then I'm like, I don't know, like... I feel like they don't, I feel like JYP have always said they put together groups based on personality and then SM kind of put groups together based on like their talents and like who suits each other and stuff. Um, and then YG goes for like vibes and style. Uh, I feel like that's JYP's downfall because a lot of their groups, I love who's, like it's, it's such a double-edged sword. I love the group because obviously they go for like that chemistry and friendship route. Um... But I guess the way Stray Kids kind of go is like they, they they make their music. So even though I feel like in hindsight, their group shouldn't work because a lot of them have very different sounds because they do their own music. They can kind of cater their music to what they have and go that way. But because Itzy and Mix, etc. don't do their own music and Twice and stuff for the most part, they kind of leave them to like fumble a bit. Same with like Extraordinary Heroes, I feel like because they are a band and everything, they work a bit better because you're catering to like two, three people's voices. But a lot of their girl groups kind of get the shit on because they don't cater to what they have. They have what they have and then just throw music at them. And a lot of times it works really well and a lot of times it doesn't. And that's why It's the Animix and even Twice recently have been hit or misses for me with their comebacks. Um, and the thing is with like Stray Kids or something or like another group like Seventeen, I don't like a comeback, that's fine. But especially with girl groups, because if their one comeback kind of flops, the group kind of, the company kind of gives up on them. And I really think they should start working with what they have. SM has like a very distinct sound with their groups. Um, and for the most part, if you don't like a few of their songs, you know they're not for you. Um, yes, they switch up their sounds a bit, but like, look at NCT. If you don't like, I, I would say K-pop, for K-pop it's like five songs. Because I don't like about like three of um, NCT songs, um, like heavily dislike them. But I like most of their songs, so therefore I know what I'm getting with them. I'm just like, okay. I don't like one of the songs, but I'll probably like the others. 
Um, same with Aspa. I didn't love Next Level. I kind of hated it. I didn't like Girls. But I ended up liking a lot of their other songs. And it's like, oh, okay. So it was just like a, a fumble for me. Because SM kind of have a distinct sound for their groups. And like in the company itself. But JYP, you don't know what you're getting half the time. Because they don't, they just kind of like throw shit at the wall and kind of just go, oh, okay. This works. Or they like repeat it like four times. Like look at Twice songs. Like they kind of, they're like, oh, Cheer Up worked. Let's keep doing that for like three comebacks and that's why a lot of those songs i even though i've loved twice for like years if i hear the intro of one of the songs i kind of you've probably seen the videos like i'm like oh it's tt no it's actually likey fuck <laughs> i messed up <laughs> because they kind of just repeat it and they did that with itsy because that's why i didn't like a lot of itsy songs it's because the first like three songs sounded the same to me um or maybe not the exact same but the same formula um look at yg they have a very distinct sound. It's like the YG sound. JYP doesn't have a JYP sound. You can kind of... I would throw it into like a pop funky vibe, I guess. Like a EDM poppy fun vibe, I guess. Because Except for Twice. Twice kind of stand out on their own. But Twice have like a Twice sound. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they don't let it see linger they don't kind of like let them grow they kind of just like let me know have they talked about like this at all like how they feel about their music i feel like i don't ever hear it um i personally love sneakers i love cheshire i love cake i think they're very fun songs um but and I loved, like, Mafia in the Morning. Like, I didn't love uh, Icy and Dala Dala and stuff. Um, but it's weird that the company knows that's their biggest hits. And then they kind of just abandoned it. <laughs> and like I said, I don't think they should be repeating the songs. Because, like I said, with Twice, like, if once, like, you kind of, it starts sounding the same. But I think they could have at least went for that vibe. And maybe I just would never be a fan of Itzy. But at least they would do well. Um... But now they're kind of just thrown to trash. Like, there's like, well, let's hope this comeback works. Um, I personally think it was a really fun comeback. I think this was one of my favorite It's the albums, probably since Cheshire? Probably since Cheshire. I love Cake and I love their recent comeback, but not as much as like Cheshire and like um, Loco and Mafia. I think those are like three of my favorites. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of like itsy itself because i don't know how to explain it i feel like people i feel like jrp just doesn't try with them but i feel that way with nmix as well i feel like they don't i feel like they need some they need like a look to them they need like a vibe i think nmix is doing a little better with that though i feel like because they have the innate talent and with itsy I feel like their talent is kind of all over the place. Like, Enmix, their strong suit is vocals. Hands down. Itzy, you could argue their strong suit is performance, but then people would point out, like, Leah or something and be like, she's the black hole of it. But then you'd be like, oh, well... I don't know. They definitely aren't, like, top-tier rappers. I don't know how they are with vocals to this day because I can't tell. I think they're good vocalists. I don't think they're like top tier vocalists. I would never name them in that way. I think they have fun performances. I never really thought Leah was a bad dancer. She clearly is just not as good as the rest. But so are most groups. You're telling me... Uh, what's a girl group people like? <laughs> Looks like a popular girl group right now. You're telling me all of Baby Monster are great? There's someone. Someone there has to be bad. <laughs> or not bad, but like, if you're calling Leah a bad dancer, like... Like, look at Twice. Uh, who, who's not a good dancer there? Um, I would say my, my bias, Chaeyoung. I would say my bias. I'll put my bias on the line. <laughs> Chaeyoung's not the best dancer in the group. I find her very attractive, and I love Chaeyoung. So therefore, she's great at everything she does to me. But I could see people saying she's, like, not the best dancer. And I would be okay with it because it's true. Like, that's not her strong suit. Like, what what is going on? Why do we think all group... Like, that's why I don't like the no positions thing. Because it kind of just leaves people in the dust. Leah's the main vocal. 
Chaung's the main dancer. Like I, what, like I don't understand. <laughs> like just take the labels and work on your strong suit. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Baby, oh, like a leaf.